Today we're going to be at a level two out of five for seeing some severe weather across southeastern Wisconsin and farther towards the north, though less of a risk for seeing that large hail or damaging winds anywhere from, say, central Illinois to northern Illinois. That's where you'll see the possibility or the, the highest threat that moderate or enhanced risk for some severe weather. So we're going to be watching it today. You definitely want to be weather aware, have that weather radio as this warm front will slowly be lifting towards the north. It's if it makes it into our area, we'll get the temperatures into the 50s. If it doesn't, we'll stay into the 40s. But the thinking is that it will make it into the area and temperatures will continue to climb later on this evening. Here's a current check of the rainfall that we're seeing across the area. Milwaukee still getting in some light to moderate rainfall stretching all across Milwaukee County as far south as Kenosha. Once you get over the Wisconsin Illinois border, the rain's kind of tapering off, so there'll be some brief breaks here and there, but all in all, we're looking at more scattered showers headed our way for today and even some thunderstorms later on this afternoon and the first half of this evening. So future forecast keeping the rain in and out of the area. We we'll stop it here around 515 or so some isolated to widely scattered showers into West Bend and Sheboygan and another round of rain pushing through later on tonight. During the overnight, though, we get a brief break. The winds start to pick up out of the southwest before that next round heads our way for Sunday, and that will be with us in the morning and for the first half of the day on Sunday, along with some gusty winds. You can see how the winds are going to be picking up out of the west and the southwest at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. We're going to get gusts upwards of 40 miles per hour. So the main threats for today will be some heavy rain, winds in excess of 60 miles per hour possible if we get a severe thunderstorm and, of course, some large hail. We can't rule that out either and a low potential for seeing tornadoes. That's going to be more of a threat farther towards the south, but we still can't rule it out. The rainfall anywhere from a half of an inch to over an inch expected for today. And by the time this system is all said and done and out of the area, most of us are going to see over an inch of rainfall. So let's check out your seven day forecast. We've got some 40s and 50s expected for today. Remember, that's going to be dependent on the warm front, but 54 that's the high later on this evening, 48 and windy with some more scattered showers for tomorrow. Then a partly cloudy sky for Monday and Tuesday with those temperatures into the low to mid 40s, 48 with a slight chance for some isolated showers Wednesday and another chance for some scattered showers on Thursday with highs into the lower 50s.